So we are an integral part of the community here at the hospital. So our hospital is made up of a clinic system. It's made up of private practitioners. I call us the foundation of the hospital. We're in-house 24 seven, so we can handle anything that comes in, whether it be an emergency, non-emergent. We cover the floors, we cover the emergency room. So there's always a safety net for the physicians. Having been on the other side of it, being in private practice, sure, there were days where I was in my office. I knew that I had a patient at the hospital. Every time the phone would ring when I was with patients or in the office, I was thinking, all right, now I have to run that 20 minutes like a crazy person to the hospital because you're trying to balance. You're trying to balance keeping your patients happy in your office, but being at the hospital at the right time as well. What we create is we have that safety net for those private practitioners. So we're here in case they don't make it. We're here to take care of their patients. We're here to facilitate any sort of emergencies. But uh, we're also part of the staff, the, the culture here at the hospital. We help teach the nurses. We help the nurses out, any of the ancillary staff with any problems that they have. And we're part of the administration as well. We also have teaching responsibilities. We're upheld to the clinical standards set by ACOG and ABOG. Um, we do have teaching roles with the staff. We do get credit for uh, teaching um, and rounding with patients, rounding with residents as well. But we're part of the administration. You know, myself, I'm vice chairman of the department. So being part of a company such as OBHG doesn't take away from someone being an integral part of the uh, hospital community.